Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll we'll do um talk about our ham um you uh, not you can just really anymore, thank God. Except in certain academia areas, particularly in America. But we will get to that later. Um, but welcome back to my channel, and uh, my apologies for not um, posting something sooner. I've been busy travelling this week in the UK, and now my friends are over um, in the UK, having a holiday. And um, so, today's bread, uh, today's term, is a term that you're probably all familiar with. Um, the word retard and how offensive it is um, people use it to describe people who act stupid or who doing something stupid um, or idiotic you know um, so where did the word come from well the word originated um, in the 15th century, or the earlier account of it, um, to describe it as kind of a form of transition, you know, a, a transition state, um, uh, where you, you get feel like dazed or a little bit out of it, a bit, maybe a bit high, I don't know, whatever. Um, I'm not here to judge, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that what it was to just you then, that what it was defined as, and it wasn't until the late 18th century and 1781 when the word was um, redefined and defined better to be to describe the sense of slowness or define it as um, um, development, de develop delay, you know? Um, and what as it's, yeah, slowing down as, as, you see, as it said in the dictionary. Um, a state, it was defined in 1781 as a state of holding back, so otherwise slow development, um, de development delay, and so it basically was a general term, and it was used as a medical term, a medical neutral term, um, and it wasn't until 1885 that it was re used to replace more offensive terms back then. We may not think it more offensive, we may think it less offensive, but back then it was deemed more offensive. But terms such as more and imbecile and um, idiot, they were um they were common medical terms to describe a person who may be slower and um, to take up things or may have some cognitive delay. Um and then it wasn't until the like nineteen fifties when the um Word we called became an official medical term to describe people with intellectual disabilities and children with a form of intellectual disability called global development delay. Um, what that is basically, it means it's either not reaching certain milestones in their childhood development by certain 
time, um, such as speech coordination, um, going to the toilet, or uh, walking, or, uh, you know, all these certain children, child development milestones. And so the doctors put a term called mental, mental retardation, which means um, that it is um, basically a child is, is experiencing delays in their development mentally and this is causing them to um, have delays in cognitive coordination so hence you connecting to the term retardation which means slow a lack of development or holding back um so it was a term used as a, in to credit, as a medical neutral term, and in the 1950s. But unfortunately, by that time, it was already being used to describe people who maybe just slower, or uh, maybe just not as quicker up the mark or uh, who do stupid things already. Not necessarily people with intellectual disabilities. So in the nineteen um sixties onwards it was used as a slur, unfortunately. And just that well sorry, I get covered in microphone there, so I hope you heard me? It was used in the 1960s. It was used as a slur uh, upwards and it was connected to people with mental health, uh, not mental health, intellectual disabilities. So that was the connection between recharge a slur and medical retardation and inter intellectual disabilities. So moving on. The term was still used as a retardation, retard, or medical retardation up to the 1990s, late 1990s, um, where in, in Europe there um, were kind of start changing and we, as the world, started changing. Um, and we started using the term intellectual disability or people with intellectual disabilities. Um, so, but to give you a sense of how, um, how prevalent it was and it wasn't up to until like the 19, oh no, no, sorry, 20, um, 2010, when Obama, President Obama, um, signed, signed a bill um, to, um, me. sorry about that, um, I got to have to call my dog, and my brother's dog. Um, <laughs> Yeah, no, it wasn't until 2010 when Obama, President Obama, um, signed a piece of legislation called the Rosa Law, um, named after a child, because Rosa is someone, sorry, um, with, she had Down syndrome, and this legislation, um, we placed the term, the official term of mental mental retardation in US legislation to the now more PC word um, of people with intellectual disabilities. 
So that's just trying to give you an insight of how um, prevalent and how recent the term is still being used. And that's in America. So like, when you, that is another kind of side topic, but when you hear people in America who still use the term as a term to, as a gentle slur about someone, you got to understand a different culture. Like we in Europe would attack such a negative, and rightly so, a negative um, label to the word retard. But in America, because they used it so recently and, uh, and so much, they didn't attack um, such a negative label to the word, unfortunately. So that's why general society still feel it okay to use it as a general flag, you know, a bit of banter. Um, so it's the word, you know, you get, you get, you get that bit of a side note. But um, another way you have to be careful um, when you are um, doing academia and because the term was used in US legislation and other um, policies, it was used by professors and academias all through the 90s and early noughties when they were writing papers on intellectual disabilities. So, if I wanted to research a paper now on intellectual disabilities, and I want to include papers from um, America, when I'm searching for those papers, I have to use the search word of retard. I know it doesn't sound nice and it doesn't, but because we, they have used it up to recently in 2010, um, if you don't use the word, you go miss out on a lot of academia papers. So that was, that was a bonus fact for you, um, unfortunately. Not much of a bonus. <laughs> uh, so I hope that makes sense. Now, the etymology of the word retard basically is a Latin word, and it, a word, the Latin means we slow. And then it went from retarder in Latin to retarder in French which means delay or slow, and then it would translate it into English to retard, which means slow or delay. And that's where, that where the term retard came from, the origin of it. Um, so, I know I'm not defending the medical model, I'm not defending the doctors, but you, you need to understand, back in the 1950s, it was used as a medical term, just like we would use epilepsy or we would use cancer now as a medical term, or tumour. We would use it, that as a medical term. That's what they did in the, back in the 1950s. Um, they would say, oh, this child has mental retardation because they suffer from cognitive delay. Um, so, looking back to history is, um, it's very easy sometimes to judge people. And I think we should refrain from doing that much and learn from them as well, um, instead of just judging them. Um, 
I understand why they did it. So that's what the word means. Recall means to recap. The word means flow or delay. And it's connected to people with intellectual disability because they experience different milestones and uh, yeah, different developmental milestones and they develop, they reach these milestones at a different time, at a later stage, hence the word delay, hence the word retard. Um, I hope you find this um, video interesting and I, more I hope it's clear um, and thank you very much for coming back to my channel and if you like my video please click the like button down below and, um, and leave a comment. Thank you very much. I, and please subscribe, it uh, help me a lot, um, help get these videos out to educate people and the reason why I'm doing these videos is to educate the next generation so they can understand where the word came from and they may not use it as flippantly if they understand Oh, okay, a retard or moron was an offensive term to describe people with disabilities. Um, and just, so, and they say, oh, okay, I'm not going to call my friend who did something stupid a retard. So, that's why I'm doing this. Um, and to bring it back to uh, get other, my other passion, um, there's a nice horse in the background. I don't know if you can see like a, a nice horse fan. Um but <coughs> can you see the I um apologies the horse in the background there. Uh, um sorry, I'm messing up and um, let's see if I turn the camera around. Can you see the horse? No, oh, it's a lovely horse, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's actually a beautiful horse. Ah Alright, okay, thank you very much and catch you again. And again, my apologies on your video, okay? I'm going to delay on getting this video up. And um, thank you for your chat and talk to you. Adios.